developmental disorder. It is actually the third most common developmental disorder on this planet. Um, it's a neurological disorder which basically means that the brain is different or it functions differently, it's wired differently, it thinks, adapts, uh, senses differently. So one of the most challenging, um, uh, I guess, most challenging things to do with autism is how to teach this brain to do the things that we actually require them to do in survival. IIT was set up as an organization to, to work with autism to actually fight the battles that most people I thought were failing over here with autism. Uh, the journey began with children with autism who could not be kept in schools, not even in special schools and who were being dropped out because of behaviours, whose cognitive skills uh, at the age of 12 uh, being the real age of 12, 12 was not anywhere near that, but they were functioning like a six-year-old at the age of 12. So, I think was formed with the intention of bringing a solution to those challenges. Uh, what we do is we work in very small groups and we train them to um, understand the concepts that they have not understood. And the reason we work in small groups is because it is uh, almost like a one-on-one -on -one attention. So, you start looking at the gaps that the children are, are having, the concepts that fall off or slip away and we don't allow for those things to slip away. We go back and we work with them until they catch each and every detail of a concept so that they can apply it and functionally they are able to manage effectively. Functionally with smaller groups. Technically a classroom has one teacher dedicated to a maximum of three students. Uh, number one, we pick up children or boys with autism who have had a history of behaviours and have been to not one but multiple organizations or schools and those schools have found it very challenging to work with them. Number two, these boys have a, a fairly good cognition level so it's not that it can't be improved or we can't work with it. Of course, uh, the challenge comes when you put a child with autism um, in the midst of 16 or 20 children and you expect the child to cope with the challenges of the space sensorially and also learn or be in the educational program and pick up concepts which is why I have gone back to the model of 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 5 which is what I learned in Scotland. So my training in Scotland has taught me that the, the, when we make it smaller uh, we also are able to provide unique solutions. Number two, we are also able to work with the children on the finer details that get missed out because of which we see the comprehension lags in, in them in the later years. And that's what the difference is in the models that is followed in India as opposed to what I have been trained with in Scotland. And I'm just trying to essentially mirror the model of Scotland so that we can get the results that I have seen over there. Um, what is it that we are doing differently? Um, number one, we have a curriculum that we are setting in place because I believe that the autism brain shouldn't be taught anything that they cannot apply functionally or that does not help them to survive or that does not help them to deal with the situation practically. Um, it also be becomes more meaningful for them. The learning process by itself becomes more meaningful if I can use this concept and I can do something with it in my daily life. Um, and that's how the curriculum is being built. Um, the concepts of science or math or English, grammar, literature, whatever it is that we are doing, we are trying to draw a direct parallel to what happens in life, thus building the learning into experience. And that's the essential core of our training. As we know, children on the spectrum are sensorial learners, which basically means that they learn through their senses, so visual, sound, taste, smell, all of these things have to come into the learning environment. I think with the smart boards, the kind of technology that we have and also aligning it with the real aspects of life, we are able to provide a, a model of teaching which actually helps capture all of their senses and achieve what it is that we are trying to do with learning. The smart board technology really really helps us because most of the boys that I have met are visual learners and they they want to interact with the concepts. Uh, it, is, uh, it is an effective technology in the space of learning, especially for the autism brain, if you ask me, because it's not about being um, just a part of the class and sort of blending in into the walls. It really 
uh, brings the child out, they are excited to go to the board, they are excited to interact with it, they want to uh, play the games, the activities, they love the videos, they want to also do presentations which allows them to grow, build confidence, explain the concepts that they have learned and for me that is really, really working very well. What we are trying to do over here is set up different classrooms and these are smart classrooms. Technology, we also work with um, virtual reality so we do spend a lot of resources, time and monies on trying to set up one classroom. As it has been mentioned that we work with a very small number but I'm hoping that the meaning of doing something like this becomes clearer and that's what we are trying to engage with all of you for. We are looking to raise funds to set up more and more classrooms like this so that we can start taking more and more children who are getting dropped out of the system and ensure that these children in some way or form can become inclusive again in the future and in the most effective manner.